What's up, YouTube? I'm Mikhail Car 131 and this is my review of the Tactical X-Men UTA Level 3 Armor Plate. So the UTA Level 3 Armor Plate here. First off, I have to be totally transparent. I did get this sent to me by uh, Matt over at the Buffman Range channel, which I'll link him in the description below. I'll also link his uh, video reviewing this armor plate. But he did send this out to me, so big thank you to Matt. I appreciate it. Now, the UTA Level 3 plate. It is silicone carbide in the front, 6 millimeter, I believe is what they say, 6 millimeter thick uh, ceramic strike base, backed with UHM WPE. Now, they rate this as a Level 3 plate. I'm not 100% sure why. We'll, we'll figure out here in a second. But my guess is, this is kind of an educated guess, because I'm pretty sure when Matt did his review of it, it did stop MA55. But given that this is a ceramic and a polyethylene plate, I'm willing to bet it will, in fact, stop MA55, which is the sort of round that the level 3 plus armor is meant to stop. So as of right now, with the NIJ's 0101.06 standards, there is no official level 3 plus. It goes from level 3 to level 4. However, because a lot of level 3 armor would not stop M855, uh, 556, M855, with the light armor piercing core in it, a lot of armor companies kind of just on their own, the uh, industry basically adopted the standard of level 3 plus, which was everything a level 3 is meant to stop, plus an M855. Now, in my limited testing, it seems to me that uh, if an armor plate has a ceramic strike face and polyethylene backing, it should stop MA55, which is what this is. So we'll find out if it does stop MA55. I think it will, which is why I don't get why they only label it level 3+. plus. But regardless, as you can see, I'll get you a better picture in a second. But down here below, uh, Matt did weigh this when he first got it. Four pounds at 7.8 ounces. On my scale, it was pretty much exactly the same, right around there, a little over four and a half pounds. Uh, on the back here, they say it's four pounds each. Not, not quite considering it's half a pound off, kind of a big difference there, but four and a half pounds, warranty of five years. It is a 10 by 12 plate. Looking at it, hopefully you can see that there. It is just a single curve plate. I think they also say on their website it's a multi-curve. I don't know what multi-curve they're talking about, but it's only a single curve, basically. So I'm going to step off to uh, five yards, start out with some M193 out of a 20-inch barrel, because M193 is what level 3 plus armor is actually sort of rated to stop. We'll try uh, M193. If it stops that, then I'll move over to M855, and then we'll just kind of have some fun with it. Once again, five yards away, this is some IMI M193 coming out of the KM Tactical 20-inch Marksman upper. If I miss where I'm aiming, this is not zero to this upper. That's my excuse. Thirty-one sixty-six FPS. All right. First examination. First examination didn't come out of the back. That was a good thing. Now. I'm willing to bet, before I check it out, as you can see, I'm willing to bet it did not go through. Hit was right here, obviously. Nothing. Barely even a dimple. You can see. Hit right there. Barely a dimple at all. Definitely stopped it. A little dimple in the clay here. So for the record, the record, the type of clay that I'm using here is a non-hardening clay. So it does not harden up and dry out like most clay will. However, to be completely fair and uh, honest, it is something like 45 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So this is not going to in any way give a good replication of what the back face would be 
in an actual NIJ test. They use different clay than I do. They keep it, keep it temperature controlled, yada, yada. This just gives you kind of sort of an idea. So once again, this is not going to be exact, but I'm only getting like roughly 10 millimeters. Now, as you saw, nothing about that was exact. I'm not trying to be exact. This is just a rough sort of estimate. Next up, some IMI. Next up, some IMI 62 grain M855. I'm expecting this to stop it because, as I said, it is a uh, ceramic strike face that has one on there. I expect this to stop it. 62 grain M855 has a light steel core in it. It's not armor piercing, but it does happen to pierce some armor pretty well. So, see what happens. Did not get a recording on velocity. Not only did I not get a recording on velocity, my slow-mo cam wasn't set up. Can you tell what a professional I am? All right, so my hit was right here. A little bit of ceramic trying to pump out the very top right here. Did it penetrate? I'm betting no. Not a pretty similar indent there compared to the M193. Here, so you can see. There's my MA55 hit. M93, M193. That little piece I tried to pop out the very top, but as you can see, very similar. There's not much difference between the two dimples in the back. Next up, 147 gram M80 ball, 762 by 51, 308. Coming out of the 16 inch Nemo XO. Let's see what it does. I got a recording for velocity. I don't think it's right. It says 31. <laughs> I think that velocity is wrong. All right. So some unfortunate news for this tactical X-Men plate. That shot was well away from everything else. The shot was well away from everything else, so I can't claim that it was too close to something. They say it's level 3, so it should stop uh, 308 M80. The back of this looks cracked, and I don't think it was there before. <laughs> so I think we might have penetrated. Let's find out. Hit was right here towards the bottom. Okay, it did not penetrate. Hit down there on the bottom. M80, M193, M855. Definitely a more significant bulge, but did stop it. Now the bulge in the clay here does not look very big. I get the feeling that has more to do with the fact this clay is really cold. So while it's not stiffened up and dried out like normal clay would be, it is significantly stiffer than if it was like 95 or whatever the actual NIJ uh, temperature is. Next up, 762 by 39. Now the old SKS. I do not know what grain, what uh, bullet weight this is. I bought this, this specific ammo so long ago. I don't know. But let's see how the... UTA level three takes it. Twenty four seventy six FPS. Hit right up here. Did not come out the back. Good thing.
And no penetration. I guessed. I don't know. Top there is the 762 by 39. Bulge. The bulge there actually looks. Eh, I guess it looks similar to the 308. Got a couple of 9mm threats now. To be clear, this plate's really stopped everything I would expect it to. I'm just kind of playing around with it now. So, first up, Underwood ammo, 115 grain plus P plus extreme penetrator. After that, it's going to be the Liberty Defense 90, 50 grain plus P civil defense. Got a lot of a lot of names I got to keep straight here. Come out of my Glock 45. Underwood. No velocity. Liberty. 2054 for the Liberty. Underwood. So you guys will have a better idea from a super slow-mo. I haven't checked it yet, but I believe the Underwood Extreme Penetrator hit down here, and this is the uh, Liberty. I'm neither one of them penetrated. I'm just kind of checking for the fun of it. Yeah, kind of what I thought. Absolutely nothing. So, I'll still show you guys. Underwood hit right down here. If I get it in the light, which I can't, but you might be able to see right there. Yeah, you can see the bullet. It barely penetrated at all. And then the Liberty, barely even any kind of dents on the back at all. Got a Underwood 357 Magnum 140 grain extreme penetrator. See if I can hit it. I fucking hate this gun. Aetheris A15 458 SOCOM shooting the Black Butterfly 350 grain full metal jack. Ooh, big hit. Panzer Arms M4 shooting the Berenike one and a quarter ounce. Green Lightning Slug. Ooh. All right. Let's see how she handled those. All right, let's see how it handled those. Well, no penetration. Believe this is part of the slug. Oh boy. Slug is right here. The 357, I believe, is here, and the 458 is right here. Again, no penetration at all. So the UTA level three plus armor plate from Tactical X-Men, I gotta give it a thumbs up, you know, for the price, which uh, the website last I checked last night was broken, it, nothing loaded right. The price that I saw was either like 310 or 400, one of the two. For either price, I would say it's pretty solid. Honestly, it stops all the three plus threats I'd expect it to. It's not too heavy. It's like 0.85 ish inches thick so it's not too thick it is only single curve which does kind of suck so yeah if you're looking for a armor plate in that general price range with some of those specs tactical x-men uta level three you should definitely consider i'm the calcar 131 so anyway.